Hey yo, it's David with Odd Frontier Games, and I want to go over engines and energy in Odd Frontier trading card game. So in games like Magic the Gathering, there's a uh, resource, there's resources, right? So every turn in Magic the Gathering, you can play um, one land per turn, right? So in this game, you can play one engine per turn. So engines are, can be creatures or artifacts, right? And so you can play one engine per turn, but the difference between this and something like lands is that these actually have like abilities and they have attack and defense. So if your other creatures, uh, you know, if they're all uh, cranked out, which is, it's the same, the equivalent of tapping, if all your creatures are cranked, uh, the, your other creatures, you can actually attack with your uh, engines or you can block with them. And a lot of engines have um, like boost to them. So you, they can get boosted up. And sometimes at the end of the game, you can win by attacking with your engines. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, another big thing is that in Magic the Gathering, there's different colors, right? And your cards are restricted by the, the, man, the colored mana that you have. In this game, there are no colors, right? So energy is energy. So there's nothing stopping you from putting uh, that cool card you really want in your deck because there's no colors. So if you look at this card, right, this zero here, that is the um, energy cost, right? So all engines are going to be zero cost because they don't cost anything, but you can only play uh, one per turn. So yeah, that's the elephant in the room. Yeah, I took some stuff from Magic the Gathering. It's been out for tw uh, 20 years, right? I also took some stuff from a lot of other games. But I've added a lot of my own inspiration to it to turn this into something completely different. Uh, what do you think about this? Do you think this is a stupid idea? Do you like the way that I handle, uh, you know, mana production? Tell me what you think. Appreciate you.